Oh yeah, those shiny, glittery and extremely addictive gem pushing games. And we just couldn't help but bring it to our channel for you to enjoy those gorgeous gems moving up and down. And when we asked you what your thought was, if we should be playing it to get some Pokemons or not, we got so many mixed opinions, both yay and nay that we decided to make an educational video sharing with you some secrets and tips about this game that might help you get your prices faster if you eventually decide to give it a try. So let's start first with the mechanics of this game. We call it the gem pushing game, but in Japan they call it Sweet Land, and it's a game focused on skills and physics rather than luck or gambling. So the game usually features a great amount of spinning gems and other items, usually 4 units in total, and these include one big scooper used to scoop up the spinning items. The items that have been scooped up will drop on either of two platforms, one of which is continuously moving back and forth, playing a key role in pushing the items towards you and closer to the price suite. Insert a coin in the coin slot and the little door that connects the interior of the machine and the price chute will open. Push the Suku or Dig button and the scooper will go down and pick up items that are spinning around. Push the Orosu or Release button and the scooper will drop the items it scooped up from the spinning platform onto either of the two small platforms, depending on the position of the scooper. Besides the prices you can get by directly having them pushed to the price chute, oftentimes there are bigger prices that are sitting on a special platform and can be obtained by pushing a special weight that is attached to the price. But I think you all have the basics of how this game works, so why don't we move on to our first tip for the gem pushing games. Choose your machine wisely, something you like, and try to avoid jumping from one to the other. It will take more than just a couple of tries to get a feel of the machine, how it reacts to your commands, the speed and all those kind of things. And if you're tossing a couple of dollars, better it to be for something that you really like, right? You might have noticed that some of the platforms have some kind of sticky paper on top of them. That is to prevent the items to fall that easily. But some machines tend to have a sloppy platform that will prevent the gems and the other items to fall through the chute, and rather than that they will fall off on the sides. Check the amount of the items that are spinning.
You will need big and heavy stuff to push prices towards you. But that's not all. Also check the size and the shape of the spinning items. Some gems are different than others, lighter than others, and rounder than others, making it harder to push the prices towards the price shoe. The heavier and the bigger the gem is, the more chances you have to get the price pushed towards you. When you need a heavy item, you will need to calculate how to get it. So better to get a feel of how fast and how deep the scooper goes into the machine as soon as possible. Check how back or forth or right or left the scoop drops. This is to decide what prices will move forward or fall off. If the scoop drops the gems too far back, it might be better to move on to another machine, because it will take a long time for them to come forward and push the prices that you want. Probably the best timing for dropping gems and items is the second right before the lower platform starts coming forward. Otherwise, gems and other items will go back. Just wait for a few seconds between turns instead of just scooping immediately. Items on the platform might shift in unexpectedly to your favor and you might be able to save a couple of turns. If that item that you're trying to make fall is not moving, there must be a reason. Just leave it like that. Most probably will be there the next time you visit the arcade. And the last tip, ask for help when you need it. Most of the arcades have very nice people on their staff. And part of their job is to make sure that you're enjoying your time. They might put more gems and prices inside the machine for you, help you with the position of the prices, or even push them a little bit for you.